What's good YouTube, Jayla's Gamer here and welcome back to another NBA 2K24 video. I will be showcasing and making my official NBA 2K24 build here for you guys. Make sure you drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm planning on making two builds this year with NBA 2K24. Thank you to NBA 2K for providing me with a copy and a code for early access to NBA 2K24. Huge thank you and a big shout out to 2K for that. I really do appreciate it. Now with that being said, let's get straight into my build for today's video. All right, you guys, so for my first build here, as you boys and girls can see, I decided to go with a point guard with a height of 6'6", the weight of 190 pounds, and a wingspan of 6'8". As you guys can see here, for my finishing, I went close shot 53, driving layup 73, and driving dunk 80. Now with the 73 driving dunk, we're able to get Fearless Finisher, Giant Slayer, Slithery, Acrobat, Aerial Wizard, Bunny, Float, Pro Touch, Scooper, Wilsoul, Spin Cycle, and Two Step. Now here with the 80 driving dunk, as you boys and girls can see, we're able to get Two Step, Spin Cycle, Wilson, Bunny, Area Wizard, Precision, Dunker, Slithery, Posterizer, that's about it. Now, here on our shooting, we went 77 for the mid-range. We got Blinders on Gold, Dead Eye, Catch and Shoot, Green Machine, Space Creator, Spot Finder, Comeback Kid, Guard Up, Midi Magician, Open Looks, and Whistle. Now, here on the three-point, you went 92 here because we really just wanted to get Limitless Range. So we went Agent 3 on silver, blinders on gold, dead eye, limitless range here. And I feel like this will be good enough on silver. But if you want to go for on Hall of Fame or gold, you literally have to have like a 96 three ball. And in order to get a 96 three ball, you have to go with the shortest wingspan. So as you guys can see, we got catch and shoot, corner specialist, green machine, space creator, spot finder, claymore, comeback kid, guard up, open looks, and whistle. Now with our free throw, we went 74. And we just, we just was able to get free Three points now this is going to be used for wreck with my homies so that's literally about the only badge you get there with that 74 free throw now if i pass accuracy we went 80. i'm just going to have to play very smart here and not throw anything out of the ordinary you know but at least i was able to get dimer needle threader relay passer special delivery touch passer break starter now in order to get bailout you would have need an 87 pass accuracy now if i would have went up to an 87 pass accuracy it would have limited me in another category so i feel like 80 is good enough i'm just gonna have to be very smart with my passes which i'm usually am i'm not really crazy with the passes now with our ball handling here we went 93 it gives us blow by handle for days killer combo speed booster now that's something that's very needed if you don't have this on your point guard build why did you make it we got unpluckable anchor break on hall of fame physical handles triple strike now with big driver if you want to get big driver you must be 610 or taller and i'm not even gonna lie i'm not making a 610 point guard that's just not the way now with our speed with ball we went 86 now as you guys can see we get blow by speed booster hyper drive and triple strike now in order to get big driver like i said you must be 610 now here on the defense i know you guys might get on me but literally bro i know how i play 2k i don't guard ball all the time now i did give myself an 80 on the perimeter d for when i did need to guard ball but i literally run a lock every time i play threes and i'm not a twos player i'm more of a threes player so i didn't really worry about the block and all of that now the steal i was trying to tweak it but it literally limited to me in another category when i tried to put up this steal perimeter defense you get clamps 94 feet ankle braces challenger fast feet pick dodger workhorse and off ball pest now those are some pretty decent badges here if I was able to get him up a little bit more, that would have been perfect, but I am a point guard, and it's definitely going to be limited on defense, and I feel like this is good enough. With the 70 interior D, we just get workhorse. In order to get anchor, I must be 6'7 or taller. Now, that's where the second build is going to come into play. So, don't think I don't have it figured out. And then, of course, to get post lockdown, you must have the 74 interior D, which nothing, that doesn't really pertain to me. We got the speed on the 86 to give us speed booster, hyperdrive, and in order to get chased down, we need a 68 block and a 80. Well, we missing the 68 block. If we, if we had the 68 block, we would have got chased down artists. Um, I'm not really too bummed out about not getting it because I don't know how good chase down artists is this year. It was not good on 23. 
Um, you barely got any chase down animations. It was very rare, rare. So I don't really know how chase down is going to be performing this year, but I do have that second build ready for that. Without acceleration, we went 85. We get blow by, we get speed booster, fast feet, spot finder, triple strike, and slippery off ball. On our strength, we made sure we max that out, you guys. We get clamps, fearless finisher. We get uh, physical handles, brick wall, immovable enforcer and we're going to go over some stuff here that we was not able to get so as you guys can see we wasn't able to get bulldozer you need to be you need to have a 74 strength um not even gonna lie if i was able to get that 74 strength i would have definitely went for it just to get bulldozer but this batch is rumoredly to begin patched so i'm not bummed out as much about not having that badge box out beast here you need a 59 offensive rebound it says here or a 60 offensive defensive rebound so just keep that in mind if you guys are wanting to remake this build and just put up your defensive or offensive a 57 foot post control is needed for back down punisher which i don't think no point guard should be backing down or doing stuff like that and then you got post move lockdown and you need a 74 interior defense now these two badges i would say is probably needed if you're going to be playing like the wands court with this build or i don't really know i don't see these badges being needed with a 6'6 six, six point guard and with our vert here we went 70 we get posterizer aerial wizard and we're able to get chase down artist if we had a 68 block and pogo stick if we, if we had a 79 block and we went 99 here on the stamp we get handle for days 94 feet and work horse now literally you guys that's the build i want to say big shout out to pugatti y'all might see him make a build just like this and i literally like like i copied his build but I changed up the attributes to the way that I play 2K. He have a lot of stuff on his defensive that I don't have because he plays 2v2 or he plays 1v1 court. I don't play that. I play strictly threes. So I made it based off the way that I play 2K and the way that I'm going to play 2K. This build will be showcased in my next video where I'll be doing my first game on NBA 2K24. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you boys and girls in the next Builder video, which will be my second build. Peace out.